Hello everyone, this is Rocky and thank you so much for joining my channel. Today, as usual, we are talking fashion, but we are going to double click on how do we get the best designer deals on the cheap. So first and foremost, I want to acknowledge the fact that everyone probably already knows about going to consignment shops, thrift stores, and things like that to get quote, designer things for less. Now, where my sweet spot is, or what I like to call my superpower, is finding things at those prices or less brand spanking new. So let's get right into what I do and how I do it, and I'm gonna show you some of the goodies that I found. So lately, you've been um, probably hearing about some apps that help you, things like Karma, um, where you set some goals or the things that you're looking for and the numbers or the prices that you're willing to pay, and it alerts you when something goes on sale, etc. So I'm not saying that I don't use that because I certainly do use apps like that that kind of alert me when things are on sale, but sometimes I don't know what I don't know. I don't know that I wanted that thing and um, didn't know that I should be uh, setting up an alert. So what I do have is um, emails that come from all kinds of stores. So if you get, if you sign up as a part of, you know, the rewards programs or just the send me notifications program of most stores, they'll let you know when they're having their best sales. And what I do is I literally, I painstakingly go through the things that I know I love and have some interest in and watch those items. Now, they may or may not be at the price that I want them to be at that moment, but I keep an eye out for those things. And sometimes that's a combination of, you know, putting things in my cart and leaving them there and then coming back to them, um, whatever have you. But I love the excitement and the work of being able to find these deals on my own as well. So the one I want to highlight for today is um, the deals that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue and from Essence.com. And I'll start with Essence.com. The very first thing that I got from them is um, actually a brand that I've never shopped before and this one is Jacques & Mousse. Uh, this is a French brand and they're most notably known for the little tiny, tiny micro bag. They're also known for the avant-garde, really pretty avant-garde dresses that I just simply cannot afford. Um, but using these techniques at some point I probably will but I found these amazing boots that I really felt like I needed in my wardrobe so let me show you the boots um, it comes in this box with the fabric label that says Jacques and Mousse on there and when you open it up it comes with this really cool dust bag that's very similar to the fabric um, tag that you see here on the box and the shoes inside just like any other shoes I suppose but I absolutely fell in love with these so I always look for some sort of statement or some pop of color for winter because here in Chicago we have drab cold winters and you really see um, gray and black and brown that's pretty much it and I usually like to team it with something that just says wow here I'm here or like a nice little scarf or um, I don't know just something nice I have some bright yellow boots, but they are rain boots. And I have um, tough, rugged boots, but they're not a pop of color. So I found that these Jacquemus boots are a nice marriage between, I want to say, hunter boots and Timberland boots. You have the leather structure and design of the Timberland boot here up top, and then you have the waterproofness like a, a hunter boot would have. It has this really cute... Um, Jacques and Mousse signature here which is hard to see but um, you probably saw in the cutaway but this color is amazing you might remember that I got an amazing deal on a Alexander McQueen scarf not too long ago that is this very same color and I think will match with whatever I wear in winter. Now, I'm not a super matchy matchy person, so I don't in intend to like have the Alexander Wang and this and that, you know, whatever, but it wouldn't, mi it wouldn't be bad to like put them together and have a look, <laughs> right? So this was originally priced um, 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 $655. 
Um, I watched this until it went down to $144. And then I had an additional, I want to say 20% off of that. If you scour the internet as well, you can also find codes. And that's something that Karma is supposed to help you do. And some of these other apps are supposed to help you find um, discount codes online. They don't always do that. So I will go online and say discount code or free shipping code or whatever. Try to find everything there is to help reduce the price of what I'm buying. So I not only got free shipping on this, but I also got an additional discount. So this was less than the 144. So I'm very happy about the price that I paid. I would pay if I was just getting Timberland boots. Timberland boots cost more than these um, luxury designer boots ended up costing me. The next thing I got from Essence isn't a des you know designer luxury thing, but it is a name brand thing. These are some sneakers from Converse. I've been eyeballing these Converse for the longest. The original price on these are $100, and they are a pair of you know Chuck Taylors, but you know Chuck Taylors have all these unique um, designs that they have and partnerships. So you can the sky's the limit on what type of Chuck Taylors you can get. These are a pair of high top. They are the same quality. So like the rubber on here is a coated rubber. It's the same quality as the Play um, Comme des Garçons Chuck Taylors. And these are a patchwork fabric. And it's unlike any other sneakers I've seen. I absolutely die for um, patchwork. I so love patchwork. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a newspaper print. But then once I got closer and saw how it was you know, done, it's a beautiful, beautiful patchwork with a really um, sturdy material, several sturdy materials on here. Um, this, one is, this one's more like a boucle, you know, like the Chanel. Um, uh, you know, Chanel suits that the boucle chenille or whatever you want to call it. And this one is more of a woven, this red and white is more of a rope woven. And then you have some that's more like a canvas. So there's all kinds of different pieces on here. And I have a huge appreciation for the subtleties of, you know, the, the different patterns in this and how it all just works well together. I love the coated um, rubber. It's less likely to get dirty and be stained forever. So I really like that. So like I said, this was um, originally $100. I ended up getting it for $51 and then a little bit cheaper again because I had that some percentage off and then the free shipping. So this turned out to be a really amazing deal in my opinion. The next piece is from Saks Fifth Avenue and it's not off Saks. This is from Saks. <laughs> so this one is a piece that um, I'm always looking for things that scream Rocky. And I think I shared with you that my maiden last name is Felix. And I'm always trying to look for Felix the Cat pieces. This one is by a brand called Mostly Heard, Rarely Seen. And this is an 8-bit a mini whistling Felix hoodie in an 8-bit design. If you remember old video games, there's the 8-bit, 64-bit, whatever. It's all that. So this is more like your very first cartoon pixelated <laughs> um, video game type of thing maybe like Atari um, so I thought that was really cute this whole look of this was really cute the unique thing about this is that I got this from the kids section I think the I want to what was the original price I don't remember the original price I will pop it on the screen but um this ended up being $50 after it was all said and done. I think, oh, well, not all said and done. It was $50, and then I had an additional percentage off because I found some kind of coupon code that was free shipping, all of the things. Now, what I am concerned about is the fact that this may not fit because it is a kid's, kid's sweatshirt after all. So let's see how this works out. I got this in a kid's size 12. I originally had a kid's size 10 in my cart. Um just because I'm normally a size 10, 12, but I'm glad I got the 12 because the if I, if I didn't, I think like the sleeves would have been a little bit shorter. So this is like exactly hitting my, when I lift my hand, when I put my arms down, it goes, it goes over my hand like this when I put my arm down, but up like this, it's perfect. Um, this is the perfect size. I'm actually really glad that I opted for um, the 12. Why well, I didn't opt. <laughs> The inventory opted for me, but I'm really glad that it ended up being the 12. This is perfect. It is so, so, so soft. This is great. I am so happy with this purchase, and I'm glad I put in the work and the due diligence to find, find the deal. This is so cute. This is like 
Oh, and by the way, this is like a rubber. Yeah, this is really, really nice. So that brings us to the end of today's um, balling on a budget, luxury on the low, how to get designer things at a bargain. So that's the end of it. Let me know if you learned anything or if you're happy about or excited about the things that I got. I, I really encourage you to go and check this out. And anytime that I learn about deals, I'll be sure to share them with you. Thank you so much for watching. Come back, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.